Hello, I'm Kendall Smith, manager at Madam Mesquite National Wildlife Refuge, and I want to share a few refuge updates you may be interested in. As you know, we've been working with stakeholders in the community to develop and begin implementing the Lake Madam Mesquite Watershed Restoration Plan. We're optimistic that the measures identified in the plan will lead to improvements in water quality and to the well-being of our community. While there's much to do, we believe improvements are possible if we're all working together to restore the health of the lake. One of the primary goals identified in this plan is to restore submerged aquatic vegetation. The grasses are currently shaded out by sediment and algal blooms that cloud the water. One of the first steps we're taking to address the suspended sediments is to remove invasive common carp. That work will begin in earnest this winter and continue over the next year or two. A company called WSB and their subsidiary, Fish 2O, was a successful bidder on this contract. They have experience in large-scale removals of common carp and have visited the lake and are familiar with its depth and other unique features. Initial plans include inserting transmitters into fish, which will help locate large congregations this winter for more efficient trapping efforts. Transmitters will be deployed in December with hopes of large-scale trapping beginning in January. The primary technique will include the use of large haul seines. The Highway 94 causeway will likely serve as a loading zone for some of this effort, and there may be temporary impacts to fishing at the culvert locations and possibly minor impacts to traffic patterns, but both should be of short duration. In addition to seine netting, a variety of other techniques will be employed as well. Only carp will be removed, and the contractor will utilize all existing markets, but we anticipate some amount of unmerchantable carp will be properly disposed of on upland sites at the refuge. The contract was just let a few weeks ago, but we have, hope to have more details to share about this project in a news release next month. We were excited to learn this past year that the nine national wildlife refuges in eastern North Carolina received a substantial amount of funding from the Inflation Reduction Act to accomplish a variety of projects on refuge lands designed to address resiliency in the face of a claim, changing climate. Some of these funds will be used for work intended to help implement the watershed restoration plan. We're currently evaluating project ideas, but some of them include dredging, evaluating projects to reroute some drainage canals to treat runoff and redirect it away from the lake. This is a similar strategy to projects being done on surrounding private lands. We're also planning to increase our water monitoring efforts that will help guide restoration efforts throughout the watershed. We hope these efforts will make a meaningful and long-term improvement as we work with our partners to reduce the nutrient and sediment loading in the lake. You may have also heard that we're exploring the possibility of a trial treatment of blue-green algae within the lake. The growth of blue-green algae, also known as cyanobacteria, is fueled by excess nutrients. Suspended sediment and cyanobacteria are the two major factors limiting light penetration throughout the water. Probes have been deployed throughout the lake to monitor cyanobacteria levels and bloom activity. Cyanobacteria blooms are a common problem worldwide and in several water bodies within North Carolina. The North Carolina State Legislature appropriated funding for a trial treatment to be conducted as they explore options for addressing this problem. Lake Madam Mesquite was identified as a possible site by researchers involved in the project. Fisheries and wildlife biologists involved in the Lake Madam Mesquite watershed restoration effort evaluated the proposed treatment and recognized the opportunity it may provide in helping restore submerged aquatic vegetation in portions of Lake Madam Mesquite. The treatment would be conducted in four isolated bays along the perimeter of the lake, where SAV reestablishment efforts will be most likely to be successful. Environmental impacts of this proposed treatment were documented in the draft environmental assessment recently prepared by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and made available for public comment. We will be finalizing the environmental assessment in the near future. That assessment, as well as a short fact sheet on the proposed treatment, are available on the refuge's webpage. Finally, you may remember that we experienced a large swan mortality event last winter in the entrance road impoundment between Highway 94 and the Visitor Center. All swans submitted to the lab tested positive for lead poisoning. These results are identical to ones submitted in previous years when similar and sometimes more significant mortality events occurred. We believe these events to be caused by lead present from past hunting activity in the mid-1900s in this area. 
We are currently holding the water off the impoundment in order to complete a lead survey this fall to help better inform future management efforts. The low water levels may reduce bird use and wildlife observation opportunities during the early winter period. Afterwards, we will be monitoring the area for possible reoccurrence this winter and will take steps to dewater the unit if we see higher than normal mortality occurring. As always, we appreciate your support and appreciation of the refuge and are available if you have any additional questions or input. We look forward to working with the public and our partners as we continue to seek opportunities to improve the lake and Matamuskeet National Wildlife Refuge. Thank you.